Hey, how's it going everyone? In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create four loading effects using Tailwind CSS in React. We're going to have a spinning, a bouncing, a fading, and a pulsating loading effect. And after those effects are finished, with a timeout, of course, we're going to simulate that the content was loaded. So I hope you're excited. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get started with the video. All right, so I just have a simple React app started here with my app, my index, and my index CSS and my index JS. Also, I have uh, Tailwind CSS already installed and configured. You can watch the videos down in the video description. And I'm going to leave some links to the videos, how to do everything. So you can recap there if you don't know how to install Tailwind CSS into React. Not going to waste any time. Let's create here a new folder in our source folder called components. And within here, we're going to create a new folder. Not a new folder, we're going to call this loading components okay now loading components let's create our very first component we're going to call this one the spinner so spinner effect dot jsx going to rfc create here a react functional component and also export it and let's get started with our very first which is going to be the spinner effect so we're going to create here a class name of flex then a justified center and also a item center and third there we go okay within here we're going to have a spinner now we're going to start and load this up in our app so i'm going to bring in the component down here uh let's see we're going to have a separate div for where all of the components will live so i'm going to create here a div with the class of flex and also give it a gap only on the x-axis of the four enough close this up right here and also close up the div so let's bring in our very first component that's going to be the spinner effect okay and we should also already see our component loaded here and by the way let's also give this a margin auto on all directions in order to center it okay now let's go back to our spinner this is the item center by the way Let's go back to our spinner, replace this spinner effect with another div. And this time we're going to add to this the class of animate dash and spin. Pretty easy. So if I hit save here, well, nothing happens because we don't have any content. So content and this should spin. Perfect. <laughs> now let's replace the content with, well, absolutely nothing. And we're going to add here some sort of content. So we're going to do here a height of 12 a width of 12 a border and to the top of four and also a border to the bottom of four and let's round everything so rounded head dash four okay now you should see something like this and if you want to change the color you can just add a different color to it so for example you could add what should be outstanding here so let's say i uh, bg or background you know what i'm going to change the border so border and dash yellow yeah a nice little dark yellow would fit here perfectly so border yellow 600 you're going to get this or more lighter yellow like 300 you're going to get something like this so play around with it okay now this was our effect here our spinning effect now, let's say we want to load our contents. So we need to add to this. You now what I'm going to create here, separate components. So in components, create a new, fold, new file. I'm going to call it loading component. Just loading, loading JSX, RFC. Let's export here our loading component. And this is where I'm going to bring in my spinner. So import spinner effect. Okay, I'm going to import it here. Uh, this is going to look much better so i'm going to cut out this bring it in here replace the div and replace this uh replace in our app I'm going to bring in our loading dot js component let's import it up here instead of loading and instead of uh, components loading just loading okay so Back to where we were 
but this time the loading component is now loaded here i'm going to load each and every loading component in here and also condition it by bringing in you now react our two hooks or use state and use effect so effect okay having them both brought in you now assign a state to this so cons the structure here loading and set loading I'm going to assign this to use state and just leave it as true for now and then let's add a use effect which will then negate this so use effect that here an error function open and close curly brackets and let's use here a timer so const timer and set this to set timeout open and close parenthesis and assign this to an error function and within here we're going to set loading to whatever loading is so let's transform this to false now this is going to be set let's say you want to have this effect every or take this effect to take effect <laughs> set our loading to false after how many whatever seconds you want so you could do uh 600 milliseconds is going to be one minute so after one minute you're going to have your content loaded uh 60 yeah this would be 60 seconds all right so this would be six seconds sorry six seconds uh and now let's return here because we want to turn and cancel our loading so callback function and clear timeout okay we're going to clear the timer perfect and this should change whenever well actually let's just leave it as as this i'm not going to influence it from here now let's ask if this is loading let's condition it this so if loading is true then display the spinner now if it's not true we're going to let's display here some sort of a div uh yeah let's do it this way so div we take class name of let's set here text 2x 2xl and font bold yeah bold is enough let's say content load it so let's refresh the page our loading will appear after this is loaded after the seconds uh, six seconds <laughs> our content should be loaded now you can play around with the seconds as i said increase it or decrease it okay now the main content here let's just go back to our app this loading i do want to replace so where we have our app i'm going to replace this with min height of the screen their fingers flex justify center and items center again okay so this is going to center everything uh not the title <laughs> not the title to be centered add this to this move the title <clears throat> sorry about that outside of the main content okay so we should have a loading screen down there let's decrease that. okay so when the content is loaded when the content is loading we're going to have a loading effect and after it has been loaded we're going to have our loading content our content loaded now let's add a couple of other effects so i'm just going to take our spinner and copy this part and create another one let's create now a bouncing effect so bounce effect dot gsx back in our loading folder from our components let's rfc create another functional component and replace this div with this and instead of animate spin we're going to have here bounce i'm going to leave the height as it is we're going to take out the borders and i'm just going to change here a border but bg and let's say we're going to have here a pink color okay let's see how this looks so we should have also we need to bring it in so into loading we're going to bring in our second one which will be ounce effect okay this should be brought in at the top if not then please import this one in so let's add this that these two fellows what i'm going to just take this div and pass it in here instead of having it there and i'm going to replace that with nothing because that's all i want to turn here okay so replace it with you can leave a div if you want 
but I would suggest to just replace it with nothing and just return any kind of spinner if loading is true. So let's refresh here the page and we should get our spinning ball here. Okay, now let's do the next one, which will be to, uh, to have a pulse effect. Again, I'm going to copy now from spin, I'm going to copy from bounce, go into loading, uh, into the folder, new file, and say pulse effect. So here RFC and paste in this and replace this with false. Okay, let's hit refresh and uh, let's start working our pulse effect. So we're gonna have our height and width and let's say here justify items and we should see now if we also bring it in to our loading a pulse effect. So pulse effect also import pulse effect from forward slash loading and forward slash false effect. Okay, let's do a refresh. And there we go. Oh, let's also change the color. Let's change this to a blue. Blue, let's do 300. Oh, change the wrong one. <laughs> change it in the bounce. Uh, let's go back here, pulse and blue. Perfect, let's do a refresh. And there we go, it's pulsating. Okay, and the last one will be the ping effect. So I'm going to copy, although I have to really replace everything, I'm going to type everything out. So let's go into our folder, our loading folder. Let's create a ping effect now. So right click new file and call it ping effect. It .jxx rfc react functional component. And now we're going to have multiple elements here. So first things first, I'm going to wrap this into a class name of relative and also flex. And then let's add a height to everything, a 12 and a width of 12. Now within here, within here, let's just bring it into our app loading. Then see it in effect. And also up here, I'm just going to copy this. The U2 should be Ping. Okay, we see it here. Nothing happening. So let's replace this ping effect. First of all, with a div of animate dash ping. Then we're going to have a position of absolute, then a inline flex, then a height of full, and also a width. So dot width of full. Then we're going to add the class of rounded, full, and a BG of sky and I think it's not going to work. Okay, why dash 400? Okay, it's still working. Now, after this div, because this is going to be only the, very, very quickly, this is only going to be the pulsating effect and I found that this work. Ah, fill, <laughs> full. So that was just the effect around it, but I still need the element in the, in the middle. So if you want to leave it just as that pause that disappears, don't have to add anything. But if you do want to have also an element underneath of that, let's do a relative position again. Then a dot inline flex dash flex dot rounded dash full. Then a height of 12, a width of 12, and a BG dash sky i'm going to do here darker sky so let's go 600. okay and this should be now the element inside of that pulse be right here uh last thing that we need is that loading if you want to add it have it here this little fellow because i just want to show you how it works on text so let's go back to our loading component and at the end you can add a let's say h2 with the class of animate dash pulse then text XL and font dash bold. Okay, and let's type in here loading dot dot dot. So let's do a last refresh. And there we go. Also animated. The text is also animated with our animate pulse. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this little video. The code is down in the description below. Source code that is. If you like the video, like and subscribe. Also, if you want to check out my courses on web development, I have 
exposes on React, on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, including Tailwind CSS also. And thank you for watching. Happy coding. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.